Hey everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Stadium. This is episode number eight. My name's Andy, the Uncommentator, and I'll be your host with the most as we work through Pokemon Stadium. Completed the game using Rental on the Pokemon. Now in this episode, we're going to be moving on uh, within the Prime Cup from the Pokeball Division on to the Great Ball Division. If you're enjoying this series, uh, first of all, thank you. Second of all, if you want to like and share the video, uh, this video or any of the videos in the series or the entire playlist, please do that also. Uh, check out my other playlist on my channel where I go through Pokemon Stadium 2 and complete the game using rentals only. Uh, also, if uh, you can do this, then please leave a comment. That would be much appreciated. Right, admin out the way. So on with Le Battle. So as I've already said, we're going to be moving down from Pokeball to the Great Ball Division. So I'm not anticipating um, this to be much more difficult than the... Um, than the Pokeball division. We're still on round one, of course. Pokeball and Great Ball tend to be quite similar, and then when you get to um, Ultra Ball, and obviously Master Ball, there is generally a noticeable increase in the difficulty. But for now, I think we should be okay. This should be fairly gentle still. Should be a nice 45 to 50 minute uh, run, hopefully, where we can just get through. Uh, without having to redo any battles, it helped actually it didn't go past the Pokemon. I have no idea where they are. Oh, there we go. I was going to say I have no idea where uh, Tentacruel is on the um, on the Pokedex. Um, not as far down as I originally thought it was. I know this Pokemon's near the bottom though, and there it is. It's Flareon. Right, let's go. So despite my dislike of Tentacruel, we're actually going to pick it. As I've said in the previous episodes, I'm trying to use as many different Pokemon as possible. Uh, right, let's have a look at the team. Uh, so Pidgeot, actually one of my favourite Pokemon, uh, certainly on the Game Boy. Uh, but it's not that great on here to be honest with you, but we've got Fly, which is always useful. Sand Attack, we need it. Uh, should be fine with that. Sand Slash, back to, the, uh, back to a ground type. So we've got Rock Slide as well for a bit of coverage. Uh, and of course Dig. Uh, Nidorino, uh, quite similar to the Nidoran. Uh, the Nidoran that we used in the, I think... Was it Nidoran in the last episode? Yeah, it was. So the Nidoran in the last episode had Thunder and uh, Ice. Sorry, had Thunder and Blizzard. Uh, Blunder and Thizzard. Uh, but the Nidorino has Thunderbolt and Ice Beam. So uh, step down in terms of power, but a step up in terms of uh, accuracy. Also, Body Slam and Horn Drill, again, exactly the same as the Nidoran had. So quite a similar Pokemon. Uh, Clefable. Uh, we have Duino have Thunder, because Clefable's got it. We can also Thunder Wave. Uh, strength may be useful as well. A uh, decent special for Clefable, I always think. Uh, but Tentacruel has a very good special. Also got Rap, which probably not used, so it'll probably just rely on Bubble Beam for that one. We can Poison as well if we need it. It's also very quick, which is always useful. And last but not least, Flareon. Really high special with Fire Blast. Also a really high attack. Um, so if we do use the physical attacks, they will be useful. Right. So for this first battle, though, we're going to go in with... Start with Pidgeot, perhaps no surprise, and then back up will be Sand Slash and Flareon. So Pidgeot, quite effective against Parasect, super effective against Metapod, Kakuna, and Venonat. Sand Slash, super effective against Charmeleon. Flareon, exactly the same as Pidgeot, really, in terms of effectiveness. Jigglypuff, which you see to going up on. Should be easing us in nice and simply, taking us by the hand as we go through the Great Ball Division. Now, I mentioned in the past um, a step up in the AI. Now, in the Pokeball Division, if you haven't watched that episode, um, this guy has Weedles and Kakunas. Sorry, no, he doesn't. He has Weedles and Caterpies. There we go. Um, now, he's stepping up a little bit here by bringing in Metapod and Kakuna. So, um, I, I, told you, I told you that they, uh, they got more difficult. I don't know if on um, Master Ball... He ends up with Beedrill and Butterfree. I'm assuming he does, but I can't remember. I guess we'll find out pretty soon, though. Sticking with the Uncommentator um, team, but yeah, that's not the problem with these. Um, using hard, and it just means it has to do a little bit more uh, flying than we'd like. Yeah, sticking with the uh, Uncommentator team plate, as I've called it, uh, with this team. So we've got a bit of ice. We don't have an electric type, but we've got plenty of electric knocking about the team. With Clefable and Nidorino. And then we've, we've actually got a proper ground type this time. So last time, <coughs> we just had Pokemon with ground moves. This time we actually have the ground... 
Okay, game. This time we actually have the ground type with um, with Sand Slash. And I'm trying really hard not to sneeze. And so far, succeeding. Alright, so quick attack will lose seven. So, that's a good start. Nice and easy start. See a Metapod. But it would be quicker actually to uh, face this with um, Flareon. Right, Jigglypuff, I don't know what you're going to have. I don't imagine it'll be anything too, uh, too destructive, so we'll go straight for Fly. Yeah, maybe in hindsight, switch to, switch to uh, Flareon, because it's super effective against Metapod, and the, um, yeah, nothing too, destru <laughs> nothing too dis uh, destructive, and the um, hardening won't, won't increase the, uh, won't increase the defense, because obviously it's a special attack. Okay, that's annoying. No, don't start with this. Uh, um... Okay, we'll switch to Flareon. Now let's put its defense up. Let's switch to a special attacker. Hopefully that's Pokemon's Parasect. Having said that, I think one Fire Blast will knock out Kakuna. And possibly Venonat as well, so... Well, it's got it's got Stab, if nothing else. Hmm, 32 damage. A bit more than you think. Well, Flareon's defense isn't the best. Just look at my last one, it is 32, isn't it? Right. <clears throat> Come on, Flareon, let's go. Whoa! A hit. It won't Oko it. I told you it'd Oko it. I like it when Jigglypuff gets knocked out and it kind of turns into Flat Stanley, it kind of deflates and then just falls to the ground. I do quite like that, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Parasect! Parasect! Yeah! Thank you. What's the neon sight? Oh, there it is. Just coming into, uh, just coming into sight there. Right, quite effective. So as long as it hits, this battle's done. There we go. No way it's surviving that. No chance in hell. So, as you can see, pretty similar to Pokeball. Nice and easy. Just. Just power our way through. It will get more difficult um, after this uh, after this level. Both uh, with it. But well, when I say that, I mean the uh, cups, the, the prime cup will get more difficult after Great Ball, and this run will get more difficult. See, we've already, we've already got a Hypno, and, and we're on in battle two, so. Uh, but nothing too much to worry about, I don't think. So for this battle, we're going to start with Sand Slash. And then I've Nidorino and Flareon as backup. So Sand Slash, super effective against the poisons. Um, Nidorino, super effective against Poliwag. I think that's it. It's also poison type though, so it can resist poison, which is always useful. Also, yeah, it's got Ice Beam, isn't it? So super effective against Sand Slash and Flareon. Just here for coverage, really. Um, so let's go. Does have high special player, and as I've already mentioned, so it's probably the best thing to battle the Hypno when it comes out. Hmm, that's annoying. Um, do I go straight to the problem is if I switch to Nidorino and it's got a ground move lined up, and that's not good. I'm going to go for Dig and hope that it goes for Dig. That's my strategy here. No, just Sand Attack. Okay. I'm so I'm so gonna switch to Nidorino though. Hopefully two digs will knock this out. Sandshrew's defense is high, but my attack's quite high, so uh, I'll not counterbalance that. Yeah, easily, uh, easily a two-hit kill. Oh no. Yeah, the Pokemon. Um, oh, oh, five. The Pokemon uh, may get uh, slightly better, but the moves, uh, the moves, thankfully, don't get too much better. <laughs> Like a, like in a Sandshrew, uh, a Great Ball, or um, I'm just trying to knock it out. Yeah, let's just go for dig anyway. Yeah, Sandshrew at uh, Ultra Ball or Master Ball, I should have said, would probably have dig. Maybe a, maybe an earthquake. 
But this range, it doesn't, I don't believe. I don't know what it's got, but... It is a miss. So, in fact, while we're, di while we're digging, let's have a quick look in the official Nintendo 64 strategy guide. I want to see what the uh, team it suggests for this cup is. I don't think I did this for um, Pokeball, so we'll do it for. Um, that's interesting. We'll do it for Great Ball. Right, the suggested team here. Good. The suggested team for Prime Cup Great Ball, according to the guide, is um, Electabuzz, Lapras, Alakazam, Moltres. Venusaur and Rhyhorn. Now, if you pick that team for this battle, you will absolutely canter through it. Um, that seems that seems a bit. I suppose you can't have a team that's too strong, but you know what I mean when I say and that seems too strong for this for this uh, for this cup. But there's also as well as um, as well as the actual team. There's a little. There's a there's a few paragraphs about each trainer, and um, there's Professor Oak tips for each cup. So let's see what Professor Oak... Let's read Professor Oak's tips for this cup. Um, what am I doing here? Strong. You will, you will have hardly recovered from the exertions of the Pokeball competition. And already the next round is announced. Nothing can stop you on your way to victory if you put these strong Pokemon into your team. So that's Professor Oak... That's Professor Oak's tips. If that doesn't inspire nothing, well... That doesn't give you a fuzzy feeling in your toes that just surges up through your body. Says, yep, I'm gonna kick this cup's butt. I'm gonna own this shizzle. I'm also gonna knock out this coughing, hopefully with an Oko move. Muck. Uh, higher defense than coughing, so one dig. Should remove this. Thought it might outspeed me, actually. Coughing's one of those Pokemon. Coughing and wheezing. One of those Pokemon that I just don't really know anything about. Like, I've no idea if it's quick, I've no idea if its defense is high, I've no idea what its special's like. I just don't know, really. Same with Muck, to be fair, unless it's... I always associate Muck with having really high defence, but again, I may be completely wrong. That's just an impression I get from looking at it. Right. Either way, whatever its defence is, it can't take a dig from a Sand Slash. Yep, there goes the battle. So, two out of two, nice and gentle, 12 minutes in, and we're all ready. Uh, well on our way, a quarter of the way through. Let's go. Yeah, there was none of this um, guff in the um, Stadium Two guide. As I said, the, the trainers also have a little uh, a little synopsis. So I'll read you the Judo Boy synopsis. Now this is the um, this is the uh, Focus Energy guy. I think that's still his gimmick here. Um, so for us. We're not going to use Focus Energy. We are go. We are. We are. Um. We are. We are. We are. We are. Anyway, um, we're going to use Pidgeot. Uh, we're going to use Sand Slash, and we're going to use Tentacruel. So Pidgeot, super effective against the Fighting types, three Fighting. Uh, Sand Slash for the two Electrics, um, and Tentacruel uh, for the Marowak. So again, nice and gentle. Tentacle also resists fighting, so always useful to have. Now I hope he picks the Brazilian footballer that was uh, lurking about in the team. Hasn't picked it here. Yeah, fighting, uh, fighting Pokemon with a um, you could call a fighting move. Or called a fighting move, I meant to say. Uh, yeah, I'm in a bit of a mess of that. Right, anyway, let's just go straight for fly. Yeah, so go to the uh, guy. This is what it says about Black Belt. The Prime Cup um, Poker Prime Cup Great Ball. I forgot what I was doing then. Great Ball. Um, trainer. Move on. Uh, many years of fighting experience have taught Black Belt to add, to add some very strong fighting type Pokemon to his team. Fortunately, there is a solution against this tough opponent Psychic type Pokemon. We'll have a clear advantage over fighting type Pokemon. So it suggests to use Psychic type Pokemon. But if we refer back to. The oh, yeah, we do. We've got Alakazam, haven't we? I was going to say, it'd be quite funny if it said use psychic type Pokemon and there isn't actually any in the uh, in the team, but no, he says use Alakazam, so. And in my not paying attention, apparently we didn't knock out Macho. Uh, so that's mind limitating. We can't go for Fly again. Yeah, I said in the introduction, Pidgeot's not that good on this game, despite it being one of my favourites on um, 
on the Game Boy. In fact, I think every time I've done, every time I've completed red or blue or yellow, which is not very often to be fair, but it is probably three or four. When I've got to the Elite Four, I've always had a Pidgeot in my team. It's something that I, I catch Pidgey early on. Catch, so I catch the Pidgey, and uh, I'll not see. Um, and uh, yeah, just never take it out my team. I just, I really like, I really like Pidgey. Although I will say one thing, it seems to be Pidgeotto forever. I seem to get to Pidgeotto really quick, and then once I'm there, it um, it then just seems to hang about for a bit. Right, Vault. Um, so we'll go to Sand Slash here. Yep. So oh, I'm assuming it's going. Oh, it's going for takedown. Interesting. I'm assuming. I'm assuming it's got an electric move. So why didn't have it lined up? I don't know. Uh, right. So straight for dig. May self destruct here. No, it's going for takedown again. Just bouncing off me. I mean, he may switch while I'm under the ground. I wouldn't think he will, though. I think he'll just take his medicine. I think he knows the game's up. I've said that. I've definitely said this before a million times, but I don't know why the um, I don't know why the uh, computer can't quit. Like, if it's, as a human play, if you know you're going to lose, you can quit just to maybe speed things up a bit. But the computer can't surrender. It'd be, it'd be good if it could. It just speed things along a little bit. Although in battles like this, in these cuts, it, it, in if it had any sense, it'd quit straight away. So. So when when you're facing the first guy, the cue ball, if, if he's if he's there with his cocooners and his metapods, and you just send out the fire types, you just switch it straight away. No, oh, no, uh, no, Rye. That's a shame. That's what they're a bit. If anyone wonders what the Brazilian footballer was, I was referring to. It was Rye, who uh, played the World Cup in 1994. Um, well, I actually thought it was. I actually think it's one of a quite a number of underrated. I think he's a bit of an underrated footballer. I thought it was really good, Rye. Also, Romario and uh, Dunga. Uh, Cafu as well. A uh, very young Ronaldo were in that squad, but I thought Rai was brilliant. It was great. Anyway, um, right, focus energy. So we'll send out Tentacle just to resist the fighting move. Because it's neutral. Obviously, Pidgeot is super effective, but fighting neutral against it. So we'll send in uh, Tentacle. Probably a two hit kill. Mm, close. Yeah, him only special is poor and tentacles is quite high, so. Yeah, it's not very effective. Did quite a lot of damage, though. I think tentacles' weakest stat is its defense, so that's why. One more beam of bubbles. And we're good. So, nice and easy so far. As we suspected, so three out of three out of three on the continue front. One of my least favourite Pokemon there, pulling through. I don't, well, actually, to be fair, I don't dislike Tentacle. I just dislike facing it on this game. But I suppose if you dislike face it on this game, then you don't like it. <laughs> that makes no sense. It's the same, to be fair, it's the same on uh, Stadium Two. I don't like it. Uh, I don't like it on there either. It's a bit of a toughie. It's a bit of a toughie. Ooh, Gambler. We like Gambler battles. So this is going to be an Oko, I would think. It's going to be a speed drop Oko battle. So the Clefairy, maybe Metronome. I mean, I think the others will have a uh, an Oko move. Right, so to battle the Gambler, we're going to pick uh, Clefable for the first time. We're going to pick Tentacruel. And we're going to pick Nidorino. So Clefable, really here to paralyze. So then the Oko moves can't get away. Uh, Tentacruel, because it's quick and it's super effective against the Ponyta. And the Graveler, Nidorino, uh, super effective against the water types. So, yep, as long as we don't get um, fissured or guillotined, then I think we'll be fine here. This is Michael Fables here to paralyse. I inevitably, I knew, I knew it was coming. Right, what is it going to do though? Will it. Will this have Metronome or will it have Fisher? I'm assuming it, this may be Fisher and Body Slam here. Um. So we'll go to Tentacruel. As long as it doesn't paralyze. If it does go for Body Slam, as long as it doesn't paralyze me, we'll be okay. Then we can uh, knock it out with a bubble beam. 
No, it's a veteran over. Oh, and it's super effective. We're going to hardly do anything, so it's special for Bish. Even, even a critical hit, not even 100 damage. I thought it might have Fisher and then Body Slam to, uh, to paralyze, but I was wrong, clearly. Not switching, so just taking its. Uh, accepting its fate. I don't know why, and I've definitely said this before, like I have most things that I say, but I don't know why, but the um, computer Pokemon. I don't know why they don't just use the normal name. I don't know if they have some silly hyphenated name or some derivative. Just use the name. If you're interested as well, this is the uh, synopsis for the Gambler in the guide. Oh, hello, Kingler. Right, I'm assuming you're going to Bubble Beam. And, um... Yeah, you're going to Bubble Beam. Um, and Guillotine. I may stay in here, actually. I was going to go to uh, Clefable, but I think Clefable's slower, so I'm going to stay in and go for Toxic. Because why not? The Gambler apparently put his team together at random. Many different types of Pokémon can be found in this team. Just have an electric Pokémon on standby. A strong water-type Pokémon is also recommended. So we'll listen to the guy, because we've got a... We've got a strong water-type Pokémon, because it's out. And the electric on standby with the... Um, with the Clefable. Right, Bubble Beam. Because our special is really high. And his isn't, so even though it's not very effective, it'll do decent damage. Oh, that's a shame. It means I suppose I should probably just switch to... Uh, in fact, I may switch now, actually. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to I'm switch to the Clefable now, except for the uh, defense drop. Uh, not the defense drop, the speed drop, sorry. Because if it does lower my... Because I should now attack first. Providing I don't get a speed up on the switch. Um, yeah, we'll go for Fable. We can paralyze. If we knock it out, we can paralyze last Pokemon. Thank you, Tentacruel. Got rid of the King. The Kingler. <laughs> Got rid of the um, Graveler. I'm trying to get that speed drop. Don't. Thank you. Yeah, the Fable's special is quite decent as well, so. Um, I may go for strength here. Because if I hit strength, then it, if it... You know what? Metronome, screw it. Let's have a bit of fun. No, okay, switching. That's annoying. But now that was coming, I would have gone for thunder. I'd have definitely gone for thunder if I'd known that was coming. Oh, Mega Drain, <laughs> okay. Super effective, at least. Now, I'm assuming he's gone to uh, Sea King. Because it's outspeeds me, so it'll go straight for Horn Drill, I would imagine. So I'm, I'm gonna risk it and I'm gonna risk staying in and hope I can survive one. Don't go for Bubble Beam, even though it's already quicker. I don't quite see the logic there. It did. Right, so now we can't get O code. So you know what? Let's it over again. Let's have a bit of fun. Oh, it's a two-turn move. It's Dig! <laughs> okay. Dig with Clefable. Sounds like a bad gardening program, doesn't it? I will hit this, then we'll actually get on with it and go for Thunder. I always moan things take too long and then I'm messing about using Metronome, so... I like Metronome, though. It's a bit of fun. Oh, a critical hit. Will that knock it out? Oh, that's a shame. And fully paralyzed again. Not that it matters. Right, let's go for Strength. We'll do 66, I would have thought. There we go. Yep, yelling timber. So just a paralyzed, no, sorry, not, just a poisoned crab left to go. Now he may go for guillotine here. I'll stay in though. I don't know, will it? This fact I just said I'm going to go for Metronome again. Because this Glurkin is in a pickle. Yeah, there's the um, there's the guillotine. There, it's missed. That's okay. That was my concern, actually, because I knew I knew it was going to be quicker. Which is why... Which is why <laughs> everything's better with Tail Whip, which is why I was going to go back with um, Tentacruel. Right, let's switch to Tentacruel, uh, just in case. I know I'm kind of wasting a bit of time here, but... 
probably don't need this continue, but might as well get it while it's on offer. Just for the sake of uh, a switch. Yeah, so uh, unaffected, so because obviously Tentacruel is quicker than uh, than Glurkin. Right, bubble beam. Lose 62, I would have thought. Don't know how many I did last time in a bubble beam. It was about 100, wasn't it? There we go. Crowd achieving, despite the fact I can't actually see a crowd. No, I think there is a crowd. Yeah, there it is, yeah. You can just see it there. You see the shadows of the people. Right, and there goes the gambler. So we're halfway through. Not quite in uh, just 25 minutes. I said it'd be about half an hour. That's, I didn't. I didn't say that. At all. I said it'd be about 50 minutes. So we're on course for that. And I've wasted a bit of time there going for metronome. Although I got a super effective move and a critical hit, so maybe it wasn't a waste actually. Right, the female cool trainer. So for this one, it's Clefable. It's Nidorino. And it's Flareon, so Clefable and Nidorino both have electric moves, so obviously it's there for the bottom three. Um, Flareon for the top three, also Nidorino has Ice Beam, so um, it's super effective against all six. So I think it's safe to say we'll be pretty much okay here. Plus we could pick Pidgeot. I don't know. No, I think those I don't pick Pidgeot. It's, if it has all waters and they may have an Ice move. Right. Or we're just starting with the water, so we'll paralyze you. Just so we're attacking first, then. Oh no. Good to work for Fable as well, as we just said earlier, it's special, it's special's decent, so it can take a take a bit of a hit. And also it means that when you use Thunder, it's um, quite highly power quite highly charged onto the their expression. Right, straight for Thunder then. Two thunder should knock this out, although I think hopefully one thunder and a strength will knock it out. Okay, two thunders. <laughs> I'm not going to bother switching to uh, Nidoran. Save the Nidoran. Come on. Ooh, a critical hit. Makes it for the miss because it'll knock it out. There we go. Yeah, without that critical, it wouldn't have knocked it out. Probably wouldn't have had about, I don't know, actually 60 left maybe? No idea. Who cares? Okay, so we're now on to a grass type, so I think I will switch here. In fact, yeah, I'm going to switch straight away, because poison misses grass, and poison misses poison. So unless it's got dig, which it may have, but I'd be amazed. It should be an easy one. So, for the first time on this run, Nidorino comes out. Doesn't look like Luis Suarez, or like its predecessor. No. Oh, that's annoying. Can take more ice beams now. So we can get a freeze. Or a critical hit, of course. Could go for Hornjul just for a laugh. Anyway. So much damage that does. Yeah, you see with the increase. Ooh, is that a... Is that a four hit kill? No! I don't know what that leap forward was, just just use it. There we go. Yep, it did. So, Flareon, let's go. Hopefully that's Pokemon isn't a water type. Then we can just leave Flareon in. Now we're going to have to go to uh, Fable. Growth again. Right, now this may not knock it out. I think it probably will though, but it's going to be close, I think. Then again, if it does knock it out, I don't know if it is close or not. Yeah, it knocked it out. It's probably better come from actually. Just thought the two special increases, but then again, Flare and Special is really high, so. So it was never really much doubt, was it? Yeah, I thought it would be. Didn't think it'd be another uh, grass type, which is slightly annoying. I'm going to stay in actually here. Uh, I'm going to stay in for one. I'm assuming it's going to go for Surf, which is annoying. I'm going to go for Smog. 
And I don't know why I'm going for smog. No, oh, that's why. Okay, how did <laughs> Fair enough? Yeah, we'll switch. I think. Yep, yeah, we'll switch. Like I said, the reason I didn't want to switch is because. Yeah, the reason why I didn't want to switch is because I didn't want I didn't want to get a critical hit on it and then it knock Clefable out. Um. Right. Well, yeah, we'll go to Clefable. We just got to take two serves here. That's the problem. Could still lose this actually. This switch may have been a bad idea. I may have just been better. I may have been better off just letting Flareon die, just to guarantee the win. That's okay. I think even a critical hit on the next turn and we'll be fine. Right. Let's go for Thunder Wave. I may outspeed this actually. Yeah. Maybe maybe a waste of a turn. Well, doesn't matter too much. Hopefully. I thought Smog would do more damage than it did. I know it's not a very strong move, but... That was a critical hit. Because Flareon's, uh, Flareon's attack's quite high. Well, I can take another Surf, I think. If this misses. There we go. So we made a bit of a mountain of a molehill towards the end, but nice and easy. So that's battle five done, I believe. <clears throat> so we're 62.5% of the way through this. Yes, I can do math, Scott Steiner. And now we're going on to the Marsh Badge. Battle five continues. Can we get through this cup without having a knockout? We didn't. We didn't actually get. I got to the final of um, Pokeball Division, and then uh, my Parasite got knocked out. So let's see if we can do this one without having a knockout. Right. So the Bird Boy with his uh, flying types, of which he has four out of the six. Um, we don't have Psychic here, do we? Which is slightly annoying. But what we do have is a Clefable, a Flareon, and. A Sand Slash. So Clefable, obviously it's got electric uh, moves. So we use that against the birds. Uh, Flareon, super effective against the Beedrill. Also, just a good Pokemon. And Sand Slash, uh, super effective against Haunter. And has Rock Slide. So I think Sand Slash is actually super effective against everything. Um, right, here we go. The field is thinning out. We're into round six. Right, there's the Beedrill, so the first non-flying type. I may switch straight away here. Um, yeah, we'll go straight to Flareon. Save the Fable. Because we're going to need those Thunders. And we know how unreliable it is, so we need to... Uh, let's not use it when we don't have to. Yeah, I thought it might be. This may do a bit of damage, actually, because Flareon's defense is rubbish. I think it's not very effective, though. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay, right. If he's got Gyarados, he may switch here. No, staining over takedown. Yeah, see, that's not a bad hit, actually, to be fair. To be fair to Beedrash. This is an Oko, though, if it hits. Flayman's play one's here for Beedrill, so, <laughs> so let's just use it. Although it's got good coverage against some of the others, like Pidgeot, which is with its poor special, and um, uh, Fero. Just hope we can take a hit, because I think Flareon's weakest stat is its defense. Yeah, that was yeah, that was going to go in. That's right. Um, I may stay in here and just die. So the continue run. Yeah, I'm going to stay in. So the continue run will end. Um, you know what? Sand attack. Screw it. No, we're, we're slower. Well, see you, Flareon. I said, I may survive this. No. Nope. I don't think Gyarados' special was was particularly special, basically. Yeah, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Not too bad about the continues at this point. 
Think about Gyarados coming out. That, this is why I didn't want to switch to. Uh, this is why I didn't switch to Clefable because the other Pokemon I've got is uh, Sand Slash, so I need a Clefable at full health for this battle. Um, right, so we'll go for Thunder Wave. As long as we hit, oh, it's going for Dragon Rage anyway. As long as we hit one Thunder, I don't know why it's going for Dragon Rage. Surf will do more than forty damage. <laughs> Dragon Rage is good on uh, for Pika Cup, not so good for Prime Cup. Right, Thunder. Don't think it'll knock it out this. But it may do. Quite effective, of course. Yes. I think if that was round two, I don't think it would have knocked it out. Because I once faced a Gyarados on round two with Starmie, and Starmie has a higher special than Clefable. Hit Thunder and it didn't knock it out. So, I think that's a round one knockout. Right, just fear all left, so we're going to win this. So we'll paralyze it. Even a critical hit, it won't knock me out. I've got high attack though, Fero. Fero are my favourites on Pokemon Stadium 2. I think I probably said that before in this series. But it doesn't make it any less true. Uh, yeah, screw it, Metronome. Sorry about fun. Oh, Thunder Punch! <laughs> what a great... What a great call. And a critical hit! Well, that couldn't have gone much better. I can't believe I knocked it out. Well, I'll take that. <laughs> Thanks, Metronome. My marvellous Metronome never lets me down. So, so far, Metronome, we've had two super effective moves and a critical hit. Actually, we've had, three, we've had two critical hits as well, because that was one. So, we've had a super effective critical hit, a super effective move, and a critical hit. See? Metronome. Great, great move. Right, two left. Volcano and Earth. Onto the lab man. I look onto the guy and he's called Scientist. Ooh, a Kadabra. Not something I want to see. But, we're going to have to battle it. And to do that, we are going to pick Clefable. We're going to pick Flareon. And we're going to pick Nidorino. So, Flareon... Uh, super effective against the Venusaur and the Execute. Uh, Nidorino, also super effective against the Venusaur and the Execute and the Staryu. Uh, Clefable, the best thing to face Kadabra, really. If any of the normals come out, we just have to gang up on it. Based. We just have to gang up on them, basically. Uh, try and hit physical moves on the Chansey. Not sure about Porygon. Don't know really what the best thing for that is, but... Again, I don't envisage too many problems here. Right, that's good. I'd rather this come out first if it's going to come out. So we'll paralyze this thing. Then we'll throw a rock at it. Uh, yeah, put it away. Could go for Metronome and hope I get B. No! Could go for Metronome and hope I get. I, I nearly said Beedrill then, and get Twin Needle or something like that. That's annoying. I mean, I mean it makes sense, but it's annoying. Well, at least it's paralyzed. So, um, sugar lumps. Now I could switch and go for um, could switch and go for horn drill, but no. Strength. Let's see what happens. Because other reflex of it doesn't do as much damage. Still did more than I thought it would. Though. I thought it'd have about 160 left. Yeah, this is why, this is why I didn't want to. I was never going to switch to um, Nidorino, and that's why. It's okay, as long as we're not actually confused. It is quite strange that a move called Confusion doesn't confuse you. It is quite odd, that one. But I think Psybeam... Actually, Confusion can confuse you, it just doesn't guarantee it. Like Confuse Ray, for example. I think Psybeam can confuse you as well. Does some, there is some uh, side effect to Psybeam. I don't know what it is. And hopefully uh, side effect is spelled P-S-Y-D-E. That would be quite fun. Right, the reflect didn't make as much difference as I thought it would. Made it a three-hit kill, though, but... Because the full prowess is it didn't really matter. Right, if there was a threat on this team, it's just gone. So it should be playing sailing from here. Venus, I'm guessing. No, it likes it cute. Um, right, I may switch here. I'm tempted to switch... Oh, yeah, Flareon. Yes, yeah, goes straight to Flareon. I forgot, I forgot I had Flareon. I was going to say I was tempted to go to... Uh, to Nidorino, but 
because it's weak to psychic, it was a bit of a gamble, but we've got we've got flare, haven't we? So what does it matter? Now, despite its special, fair enough. Despite its special, one fire blast will take this out. I would imagine. I'd be amazed if it didn't. Anyway. Yep, there we go. Well, this is easy so far. Easier than the uh, the last battle. The battle should the battle's in theory. You star. Oh, thank you. How kind of you. Now the battles in theory are supposed to get more difficult, uh, but they don't. They don't always. Um. You know, I mean, generally battle eight's the most difficult, but but. Apart from that, there are sometimes harder battles dotted about. Um, right, let's just go straight back to the fable. Well, I'm 41 minutes at the minute, so... Um, aiming for 50. Now reflect. It's a waste of a turn. So, Thunder Wave. Get the paralysis on, hit thunder, job's a good one. What now? There, it's a hit. Yep, star you throwing stars at me. What's this? Oh, it's paralyzed. See, Clefable. I should have a name for this team, really, because I've got Clefable on it, which I don't like facing it, and Tentacruel. I don't really like facing Flare on either when, uh, on the rare occasion that. But the uh, AI has it, so yeah. Don't think of a. If you can't leave a comment, think of a name for this team. I don't know. It's like my uh, my comedic prowess comes out throughout the uh, throughout the uh, series, as you'll as you'll know. But um, can't think of anything for this one. Right, just the Earth badge to go. Seven attempts to beat the cool trainer. I'd like to think that we only need one. Ooh, a Moltres, though. Got a Landry Bird already. And a Dragonair, so I'm anticipating I'm picking Nidorino. But I didn't come to my notes. I am picking Tentacruel. I am picking Sand Slash. And I am picking Nidorino. So Tentacruel Quad against the uh, Rai... Oh, Horn. Let's get those two mixed up, don't know why. Yeah, Quad against the Rai Horn. Uh, super effective against the Moltres, Sand Slash, su quad effective against the Moltres, super effective against the um, Magneton, also um, super effective against the Cloister, I don't think we're going to battle it with that. Need a Reno, super effective against the Dragonair and the Cloister. Uh, if Kangaskhan comes out, we just need to hit it with special attacks. Well, let's go. Now, so the Cool Trainer's bio reads as follows. A lot of subtle tactics are called for in this fight against the Cool Trainer. His group is prepared for almost anything. Versatility is the name of the game. A rock type, a water type, and an electric type would be an excellent combination. Well, I believe we've got that because we've got a water type in um, Tentacruel, which we're going to switch out in a second. We've got a, a Pokemon with a rock move in Sand Slash. And we've got a Pokemon with electric move in Nidorino, so... Maybe subconsciously I was, um, I was paying attention to the guide after all. Thank you. Just needed a move beginning with the word thunder there. Just didn't want supersonic. Right, do you switch? Do you switch? Um, I may go to... I'm going to go for rock slide, just in case. No, it hasn't switched, so should I go for dig? Right, just don't go for supersonic. That's fine. That's okay. All Sand Slash's weaknesses are special attacks, so it doesn't really make that much difference, that one. Um, right, dig then. May troll me. I, I, th it makes me think that doesn't have Moltres. Otherwise, it'd have put it out there. Sticking with Screech. I've noticed as well, Magneton's um, 
Magneton's magnets are always different, uh, generally different colours. So sometimes you get pink and green. Oh, I did switch in. Sometimes you get pink and green magnets. Uh, but on this occasion, we've got blue and yellow. Yeah, there's the Moltres. That's annoying. And I can't think of it. he's only switched because I've actually used Dig, so I've kept going for Rock Slide. Right, I'm going to go to Tentacruel here just because. Or am I? I'm just concerned about the defense stuff. If it goes for like Drill Peck or something, I'm, I'm not going to be able to resist it well. Now, I'll stay in the Rock Slide. I said the defense drop doesn't matter, it does actually. Now he's got for Fire Blast. Oh, right, oh, that's, that's not good. Yep, that's not me out. That's annoying, actually. In fact, that's bad. That's bad, because I've, I've just realised I've, I've not knocked that Magneton out, have I? I've not knocked that Magneton out, have I? So, um, yep, yeah, should have just gone to Tentacruel. That was stupid. So maybe we won't win this the first time. Yeah, that was stupid. I don't know why I did that. Right. Bubble Beam, and we will outspeed. I mean, not switching. I hope there's a two hit kill. Yep. Nice and easy. There's a sky attack. That was fearing um, it would use against the sand slash. Without the critical hit, I think I, can, I could have survived that fire blast. So, marginally irritating. So, even the score now. I just hope, don't know I'm going to knock out that magneton. That's the problem. I think we'll be okay though. Please don't send Magneton out. This is a Pokemon. I'll probably be dragging air, won't it? Right, that's fine. Okay. That's okay. I'm hoping I can get this low enough that the Need Arena can finish it off because it will outspeed it. And the last, if the last Pokemon's dragging air, we're fine. So we'll stay in, go for Bubble Beam. Yeah, that's okay. In fact, if I can survive this, whatever it is... Oh, it's got the Thunderwave. If I can survive its attack, whatever it is, then I can knock it out. I'd rather it just attack me, to be honest, rather than paralyse me. Yeah, there's a Thunderbolt. Right, I should survive this. Obviously, it'll do a lot of damage, but... About 200, I would have thought. 200? <laughs> what a guess. Good, got the bull beam away. Please knock it out. No, yeah, oh, whatever game. Fireworks are flying in this battle. I think Need Arena outspeeds, like I said, so I don't think it's end of the world. Don't know, I'm checking because I'm <laughs> I'm knocked out. Why? Why have you gone for Swift? What are you doing? I've gone for Rap, by the way. I'm gonna be fully paralyzed, surely. Yeah, I was saying, there was there was no way I was there was no way I was getting that attack away. What was the point in that turn? Just just go for Thunderbolt. Just knock me out. Why does it do that? It's stupid. That was like an early episode when Earthquake. I think it was was it Sandshrew or Sand Slash? Earthquake or Dig would have knocked me out. Instead of going for it, it went for Seismic Toss, which didn't knock me out. And then for some, and then I'd gone for Metronome, I think. Or I don't know. Right, Nidorino, as long as you're out speed, we can still do this. Oh, it's I think we will out speed. Magneton's pretty slow. It's one Pokemon against two now. Uh, right, body slam. Body slam. Right. Oh, now, if it's a Pokemon that we're quicker now. than, we could go for Horn Drill. Let's see. I'm hoping it's Drag. I actually want to see Dragonair for the for the first time ever. Hey, yeah. If, if anyone's ever got Dragonair, Dratini, Dragonite, nine hundred ninety nine times out of a thousand will pick it. So this has hopefully worked out okay because I think two ice beams will knock this out. As long as I don't, as long as it's I can take two, it's I out speed anyway, which I'm surprised about. Like how the ice comes out of its horn. Also fun one. Right, Thunder Wave. Ooh, agility. Interesting. <laughs> Don't go for horn drill. Has it sped up to use horn drill? This would be quite fun actually if this hits. If it is horn drill. No ice beam. Although well, don't get frozen, we're fine. Yeah, we're good. 
We win. Despite me uh, allowing the sun, sh sun slash to get mortared. We're good. There we go. I was banking on the fact that the last Pokemon to be near uh, Dragonair, that's why I wasn't too concerned about how that panned out. So that is, and just as the 50 minutes ticks up, 50 minutes and 20 seconds, we get the win. So, Prime Cup, Great Ball, is done. All that's left to do is pick the MVP, so we're not quite done. As the trophy will drop out the air in a second. There we go. Um, right, so the MVP, we'll give it to... I don't know, really. I kind of want to give it to Clefable. Um, I tend to look at... When I'm deciding, I tend to look at what comes out in the second half when the, when the battles get a bit more uh, difficult. Um, Clefable started Battle 5, 6 and 7, but it didn't come out in that battle. Nidorino, apparently, though, and I, I didn't notice this. I picked Nidorino from Battle 4 all the way through to 8, so 5 battles. Well, I can't remember it really doing anything other than, uh, other than that Ice Beam there at the end. So I'm not going to pick that. I'm not going to give it to Tentacle because I don't use it enough. I'm not going to give it Sand Slash. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to give it Clefable because I love metronomes. So Clefable's the MVP. That's the uh, Prime Cup Great Ball done. That was episode 8 done. So uh, we're nearly to double figures. So join us next time, or join me next time, I'm, I'm doing this on my own, um, to um, move on to battle episode 9 even. We're going to be moving on in the Prime Cup onto the Ultra Ball, so it will be a little bit more challenging. So hopefully a little bit more interesting. But hopefully that was uh, fun. I enjoyed it anyway. So um, if you did, enjoy it when I like and uh, share and do all that crazy stuff. That'd be great. But as the 52-minute mark... Ticks over. Signing off now. So until next time, it's sayonara.